everyone, it's Deirdre with Soliano's Bath and Body Indulgence. And it has been forever since I've done a video, but that's a story for another day. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on for Valentine's Day. These are some candles, some little gifts. Um, I don't think these will be available on the website. Um, but if you are local in Dublin, Georgia, then, um, or a surrounding area, you'll be able to pick one up at Miss Judy's. So, let's see, what do we have here? I am including, along with the candle, a nice little cup with some candy this is going to vary with each one um we have some teas a honey stick which is local honey really cool from eagle apiaries if you're not familiar with them they are awesome and a little stirring spoon So, like I said, each candy is going to differ. Um, the honey in the spoon is the same in each one, and the tea is the same in each one. But, that is, like I said, that's what we're working on for Valentine's Day. These will just be local. I have three different scents available on the candles there is chocolate covered strawberries chocolate covered cherries and chocolate raspberry drizzle I will have um, bath bombs available in the chocolate covered strawberries and the ch chocolate raspberry drizzle but I won't have any for the chocolate covered cherries. Um, I'm using fragrance oils on these and that fragrance oil is not skin safe. So as soon as I can find one that's skin safe, but of course that'll probably be for next year. So I don't know if any of you know me or see my products, you know that I really agonize over the packaging and this is not my first idea but it works out well so we're gonna go with it I did this last time too I'm not Put it so tight, I can't get the little balloon in. Little balloon. These are going to vary as well. I think I have four different designs on the balloons. Um, yeah, four. And this is one of them. I'll put them in there. A little bow. Yeah, well, like I said, I just wanted to hop on real quick and show you what I was working on when we do it these days. Um, life has been a little hectic, to say the least. I know that's how it's been for many of you. But things are well. Um, uh, let's see. We were, we, we did have our products in Established Collective, which was downtown. Um, a lot of you have been there and purchased some of our products, and we greatly appreciate that. But they have since closed down um, temporarily. They're getting ready to set up in a new location, which we're very excited about. This one, chocolate raspberry drizzle on that. And so since they're closed down temporarily, 
and make sure you include that warning sticker. Um, we are now set up at uh -oh. air bubble in there. We're now set up at Miss Judy's, which is across from the VA. in the little shopping plaza with Sir Chiro's and who else is there? Um, twigs and cotton and I think it's Emerald Nutrition. Forgive me if that's the wrong um, name, but they're really good. They have um, which is crazy to think about or say, but they're, they have like special drinks that are healthy, but actually taste good. Um, so yeah, they're over there. And then just recently, like super recently, you know, a few days ago, Tuesday, we are set up in the Ditsy Gypsy, which is in Sandersville. It's a cute little shop, just like Miss Judy's. Beautiful. And establishes fun places to shop. Different vendors, local vendors, handmade, handcrafted goods, um, which is really cool. And yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Um, you know, we still have online. We're doing that. But yeah, things have been good. Um, I think it's, yeah, a little over two weeks ago now, um, my youngest moved out. She's on her own. Um, she moved just a couple hours away. Still in the same state, going to school, working. She's doing really well. Um, we had hoped that she would have chosen to go to a college that had uh, dormitories so she wouldn't be on her own, but she decided not to. And she is doing really well for the first, you know, to be on her own for the first time. So we're proud of her. And let's see. my camera set up here is kind of weird so here's the top of it I'll show you the picture of it better there we're going up 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 there we go don't mind the wild looking greenery in the back um I also use this space as a plant nursery so you know steps around um okay I'll be right back But yeah, that's been it in a nutshell. Um, let's see. My other two children, of course, they had moved out a long time ago. They're older. But let's see. My son is the oldest. Um, you know. You know the... Single guy, young guy, bachelor, video games, working, you know, that kind of thing. So he's all right. Um, my middle child got married. Whoa. You know? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, it's not a bad thing. I'm just, tr you know, still trying to come to, um, what's the word? Just still trying to wrap my head around it. Cause you know, it's like, like it's one thing for your children to move out, you know, go to college, all that other stuff. But when they get married, it's kind of like, mm-hmm. I guess I am that old now, <laughs> you know? But it's cool. 
And this one is chocolate covered strawberry. I'm trying something different with the candles. I added color to them, which I usually don't do. I usually just do colors on my, uh, well, recently. Just started doing colors on the wax, on the wax melts only. But I put color to the candles and doing something different with the labels. The chocolate covered strawberry, it actually got a little chocolate dipped strawberry on there. That was pretty cool. Um, and look at that, I did it again. Tightened it without putting the balloon in it. Okay. Let's open this up. That. Um, of course, I don't know. It's been forever since I've done a video, so I don't know the last thing we were talking about. So we'll just start new. Um, but here's a, another balloon design. Kind of cute. I know a lot of people love the um, animal prints. But yeah, I'm also a very avid gardener. I'm actually working on starting up my own little farm, which is cool, you know, <laughs> retirement plan. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, you see the plants in the background. This is my little plant nursery for right now um, until we move. But yeah, I got um, some plants started. I actually had more, but I've already been able to put those in the ground. And I have to go and there we go. I have to put some more in the ground. Probably won't do that until Sunday after church, I think. Because the the high for tomorrow is 44. Even though it's gonna be sunny. It may be a little bit too chilly for me to be putting putting um, plants in the ground, but we'll see. I might still be able to go out to the property and at least prepare a couple of rows before Sunday. So that way Sunday, all I have to do is just put stuff in the ground. Um, but yeah, last year's yeah last year's garden was a bust unfortunately um, but this year it was a bust because of deer going through and eating everything this year I'm taking uh, some extra precautionary measures so that way things don't get eaten up you know, I don't mind sharing, but gosh, you know, you're gonna come through and eat everything? You can't just eat everything. You gotta leave something. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on camera. I guess you can tell that. I also, let's see, what we have, I purchased three rabbits last year, um, three New Zealands, two girls, which are does, and one boy, the buck, and hopefully, at the middle of February. I'll get them to breed and have some more rabbits. There you go.
him the rabbits are going to be for, well, their main function is for fertilizer for the garden. And then I'll breed them and be able to sell the babies. I'll keep, you know, one or two here and there, but mostly to sell them. I just saw something I forgot to do on two of them. I'll have to go back and do those later, but I'm adding a little disclaimer sticker here because there is some frosting on the candles. I use 100% sway wax. You can see that the lighting in here is bad, but yeah, there you go. There's frosting on it, but that's just because it's a, a natural wax. It doesn't affect the ca candle at all. But I just wanted to put that on there so that way you know, if someone's not used to soy candles, they don't get upset. But, yeah. Three, three rabbits, like I said. Um, the girls one is black with a little brown at her feet. Her name is Leah. And the other one is white with black and brown spots. Her name is Rachel. And my boy is named Jacob. Now if anyone knows or studies the Bible, you know that Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Um, Genesis, Old Testament, they, uh, how can I put it? It was a bit of a, bit of a little love triangle there. <laughs> Just, you know, put it mildly but yeah they um sorry i'm looking around for stuff as i'm talking but with the three of them we have the 12 tribes of israel and I'm not sure if i'm going to you know hang on to some of their babies and name them all after the tribes of Israel <laughs> I could but I probably won't but yeah that's where I got that from because there's I don't know it just seemed appropriate I'm setting up as I go here like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video and just let you know that, hey, I'm still here, still alive. Um, my plan for this year, I'm not sure what time this year, but hopefully at least by the fall, I will have some chickens and ducks. Next year, I'm not sure, maybe a goat or two, or some sheep, we'll see.
to grab some lids. Do one more, and I think we'll call her a wrap for right now. But we've still been doing the farmers markets and little pop up markets here and there. I think doing the markets are a lot of fun. They are hard work, but very fun. And large majority of them are rewarding. Mm, you know, not just monetarily, but just in general. did it again. Okay. And here is another design. I think this one is my favorite. If you've seen me at the market or any pop-up shop, you know that the black and white stripe, yeah. <laughs> it matches my tablecloths and my bags. I don't know what it is about the black and white stripe. But I guess it's the simplicity of it. And, you know, you can pair it with just about, you know, any um any color you know for accents and whatnot so it's pretty cool okay now like i said i have to go back and fix two of them but let's make sure we have our label our disclaimer warning yes
have to do another video again. Hopefully next time I'll have something to talk about. And I'm not usually... I don't usually talk while I'm working. probably end up putting music to part of this video but we'll see guys it's been fun getting back to this like I said hopefully next time we'll have something actual to you know we can have a real conversation but for right now thank you so much for giving us a chance and buying our products and yeah just <laughs> thanks so much like I said um, be sure to look out for these Handles on um, these little gifts for Valentine's Day and Miss Judy's and be sure to check us out at the Ditsy Gypsy in Sandersville and we will Hopefully be back really soon with another video. Okay. Bye guys. God bless <laughs>